Okay, I failed my first cut. Completely failed. I'm going. I'm going way too fast. Is the thing. This is about to fall. Um, so why I'm doing this right now? Well, screw it. That's why. I'm not waiting for anyone to meet up on my on my dad's side. Of my family, uh, cousins, and my grandmother on my dad's side. Their family, because stuff keeps coming up, and then we can't we can't see them. They can't see us. A lot of stuff like that, and I'm not gonna wait any longer. We're just gonna do it. This is complete Christmas haul. Next up is December complete complete December haul, which is the same books, uh, pretty much, and then complete January, and then we'll be done. That way, for February, I'll be black. I'll be black on track. I'll be back on track. First one up is Luther Stroh, the complete series by Justin Jordan. Now, I was very skeptical to get this book, but when, when um, so I, I almost bought this at Newberry, but I got it for Christmas. And what, um, obviously, and what finally, fi what finalized my decision was my gut feeling. You know, I, I sometimes I don't listen to other review sites like. Uh, Goodreads. There are some I will listen to almost like religiously, and if they all they all hate it. I won't get it. Like they all despise it. I'll be like, nope, not getting that book. And not a lot of people talk have been talking about this book. Near Mint Condition did like this book, by the way. Um, for those of you who watch his, his show, uh, which is probably a lot of you. I wonder if you guys are like more like the Near Mint Condition Genmin side or the Yellow Flash side. Um, but. I also liked Justin Jordan's spread, so right now I'm like happy I got this book. But before I was really skeptical. But again, I got feeling that I really, really want this. I'm gonna get it. It was, I, it was almost that book I could. It was almost. It was almost that book I could not see myself without. You'll see one for, and then you know, you know, from last last night's uh, comic haul that I also did. I also, boom, I got feeling again. You know, same same video there, pretty much. Oh, sorry, this one collects. One, two, and three of the Luther Strode trades, which is the, the, and your normal trade size, like six issues each. So I believe it's 18 issues. For 40 bucks, that's kind of a lot. It, spoilers for a complete December haul, the only missing trade is uh, Complete Darkness. I didn't get that for Christmas, that was December haul. And that's 30 bucks in a much thicker trade. And it's also from Image, also soft cover, and also a new book. So this did not need to be 40 bucks for 500 pages. And I and it's still it's still a good price compared to uh, Marvel. Marvel made you pay like fifty bucks. I want to say, not too much more. Maybe forty four ninety nine around that around that time, around that around that price. But it's it's indie publishers. Indie publishers are always a bit more, a lot more lenient on pricing their collected editions than the big two are. Speaking of the big two, Green Arrow. None, none of these are Marvel, by the way. For December, for, for, not for December, yes, there are some for December, but I mean for um, Christmas haul, and that's that wasn't on purpose, that was just kind of what I wanted, it was mostly DC stuff and Image, and well, mostly, mostly DC and Vertigo. Okay, so it's Green Arrow, War of the Clans, DC Essential Edition, this is the entire entire run that Jeff Lemire did with Andrea Sorenston or Soren, Sorrentino, I don't know why I, I, don't know why I wanted to say Sorrentino, Sorenst the, other, the other thing, 17 to 34, I forget the other one. It was Future's End and Secret Origins, I believe. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Green Arrow, 17 to 34. 23.1, Secret Origins 4, and then Green Arrow, Future's End, number one. So, his entire run. And I did notice this this today. You, you guys already saw, you saw when I did the unboxing for this video. Unboxing. It was my, my cousin, on my, on my mom's side. Who I thought who she she just got the book from if you remember that video I told you that she just she just got the book from them it was a nice surprise because I'd have to they would have to wait a lot long a lot longer but I noticed this today not good uh, it's just that page and if I don't play with it too much I'm I'm really not trying to I I I, I want to show it but even that I feel like I'm doing too I'm I'm spreading I'm like not spreading it you know you know what I mean I'm doing too much to it but if I, if I don't play with it and I don't um. And it's just that one page, so it's not it's not a big deal, but I did just notice that. And also, I don't know if it's like a way of, but you can kind of hear like that. It's making this, uh, making that like glue sound, like when the glue, when the binding is breaking on the glue that omnibuses make. And that's fine for an omnibus. For a soft cover book like this, that's not good. But yeah, that, that's kind of what this would sounded like. It's kind of the sound I would describe it as. Okay, when was that collected? And then, I think we're good for that. Okay, so this one is 100 Bullets, Brother Lano, collecting 1 through 8 of Brother Lano. 
This is the only follow-up series so far for 100 Bullets. I know I'm going, in, I know I'm going in a weird, weird order for 100 Bullets, but that's because the omnibus is uh, it's not it's further, further, further down, I believe, stutter. Um, but that that was it. That was it, right? Uh, it was very, it was very annoying because annoying because it was like so much of 100 Bullets after the omnibus, I means three books, but. I had to make sure it was four books in total. I'd make sure when I was sending the links to my mom that she got all of them. It was kind of annoying to do that because you can't, kind of can't ask that question. So this one collects 58, uh, sorry, 59 to 80 of 100 bullets. And what's nice about this, this volume, it is right after the omnibus, like directly after it. Nothing, nothing missing. Or nothing adding, no double dipping whatsoever. Uh, and an 81 through 100 of 100 bullets. And they definitely, they definitely knew what they were doing by making 100 bullets, 100 issues. But 100 bullets was that series I never got to, never got to finish at my local library. Even, even Indra Lones didn't have their complete series. I just, I was just able to read the first book of that size of the volumes 4 and 5 I just showed it was like 19 issues. And that was it. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm getting the omnibus and then they, the rest of the series. This one is Strange Adventures. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, I, I, I wanted to make sure I was showing under the dust jacket. And this is the first hardcover. I was just like, wait, this is the first hardcover? I was like, yes, it is. Um, this is 1 through 12 of Strange Adventures. No uh, director's cut for issue 1. So a lot of these, you're going to hear me say, this is a series that I started but never got to finish. That's true for a lot of these. I think that's why a lot of these are DC books, honestly. Because Marvel books are like current Marvel books that I'm reading, it's very slim. This is the dust uh, on the dust jacket. They make it look like an actual book, like a like the book. And it's actually, the, it looks exactly like the book if you look in the very first page. Actually, it's also signed by Adam Strange. A, a lot of care went into the construction of this book, which which DC Comics did not have to do. But it's the same. If you can see that, it's the same exact. Um, it looks the same. It looks the same as the book that he writes in in in, in the story, in universe. And I like this too, like how it makes it look like a book that you read like five thousand times. Like it, everything's like dwindling, like the paint starting to come off. Well, not the paint, but like the ink. But again, a lot of care went into the construction of this book. They did not, they did not need to do, especially for forty bucks. This would be fifty bucks for Marvel. I, I know for a fact that it would be. This is hardcover and collects 12 issues. Oh, yeah, it would definitely be 50 bucks in Marvel. Civil War 2, which only collects like 10 issues, is 50 bucks. And that didn't come in. That is actually an older book. Even better. I, I really appreciate the, again, like the construction of that book. And, and the story, too, was pretty good so far. I, I, did, not, I did not get that just for the uh, binding or for the, how the book looked. No, I got it because it was an interesting story so far that I wanted to finish. Rorschach 1 through 12. This one isn't as impressive. It's just this and then that on the other side. Yeah, 1 through 12 of this guy. I find it funny how Rorschach... I mean, this does look like a smaller book than Strange Adventures. But this guy is thirty four ninety nine, and Strange Adventures were thirty nine ninety nine. They both collect 12 issues. But I think uh, Strange, Strange Adventures is longer. And again, and also a lot of these are 17 and up books. Like Black Label and everything. And everything like that. Or Vertigo, rather. Um, so I did that, and then the dust track, okay. Superman and Batman Generations Omnibus. I am a John Byrne Superman completist. In fact, when I get the Superman and Man of Steel Volume 4, hopefully in March, hoping for it to be released in March, um, I'm gonna try and get those, it's like a World of, World of, no, not World of, World of Smallville Metropolis, it's like four issue miniseries for both of those, that came out in the 80s. It's not collected in any collected edition like none at least none that are available on comiXology so i'm gonna have to buy them for one 199 each that's 16 bucks for both series like that's a lot of money um this is that side and this is the other side now i heard the uh first is there's three three series collected in here um well of course the issues in them but like all three, um, the trilogy is collected in here of Superman and Batman Generations. And I've heard that the first one is the only good one, but you can't find that anywhere for a good price. 
and it's the price of the omnibus. So I'm like, you know what? Actually, it's cheaper than cheaper to get the omnibus than it is to get volume one. I was like, the hell with it. I'll get all of them. So this one collects Batman Generation, Superman and Batman Generations one through one through four, and then the sequel number two one through four, and then the third one one through twelve. So it's. 4, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's right, too. It's 20 issues. Which is, that's a lot for 75 bucks. Again, Marvel would be 100 bucks. It'd be 100 bucks to Marvel. And they would make the paper quality less, like, like, like thinner. There's a the, uh, Captain America 75 page or $75 ones. That's like 400 pages. But it's hardcover, so I can charge up the ass. Batwoman Omnibus. One that I started but never got to finish. Uh, and that was mainly because there's a lot of Batwoman by Greg Rucka. This is, this is everything by Greg Rucka and J.H. Williams for Batwoman. I noticed this not too long ago. The, uh, this Jem Min's video. There. Connects. And then this one collects... Detective Comics 854 to 863, Batwoman New 52, Issue 0. Then they collect it, they say it twice, if you'll see right there. And then 0 to 24, and then Batwoman Annual Number 1. I don't know why they counted Issue 0 twice like that. And for whatever reason, I thought it was 40, it was 0 through 40 of Batwoman. I don't know why I thought that. Hell, it might not have got to 30 to 40 issues. There's only two more mini trades after this than like the you know your usual six volume uh, six volume six issue tra volume trades. This is the front. This is the back. I, I really liked it so far. I was reading an elegy not too long ago, and it was it was like actually it was it was actually kind of it was actually kind of a long time ago. And it was I, I really liked it. I wanted to finish the entire run, and now I can. And then. As you saw before, but the you know the rest of the series here is the omnibus for one hundred bullets. Pretty standard uh, under the dust jacket artwork, the hardcover itself, to this, that, and the black on the other side. And this one is I actually have in the back printing all of these uh, one through one through fifty eight of the award winning series. As it should be, and then the and then a story from then the short story "Merry Christmas, Bitches" from Vertigo Winter's Edge number three, and then the sketchbook section. So, I like when I said "Merry Christmas, Bitches" by Dog Bart. If you, if, you, if you guys don't know, um, the word "bitch" originates from a female dog. So, you can call your dog a bitch all you want, and that's the correct term. <laughs> it's not wrong. And of course, this is not going in right. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Pretty thick. Pretty thick omnibus too. These actually the next two are actually the last two are also thick. The one I know, one hundred bullets is probably tied with this one as the one I was like psyched to get. Like I would not have passed up for anything. They could have increased the full price for both of them. And I wouldn't, I kind of would have been, I would have been annoyed, but I would have gotten those two no matter what. And that is Green Arrow. Actually, I almost, I actually almost paid, well, I almost paid full price for, almost full, full price for this book. But Green, I keep saying full price on now. Uh, Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunter Saga, Omnibus, Volume 2. No way. Oh, I have written the iPad, damn it. Uh, Mike Rail. So this is all of Mike Rail's run. He was two, um, there was two Omnibuses worth of it. The first one I got for my birthday, and then the second one came out just in time for Christmas. A few few days after, but I was fine with that. I didn't mind waiting. So it's the only one that doesn't have. You're gonna see nothing for a few seconds. Um, this one collects. Here you can see this. Uh, green. Nope. Uh, the Brave and the Bold one through six. Green Arrow fifty one through eighty. Green Arrow 2016 series. This is just the covers. Mike Rell did his artwork too. We did the artwork for 18 to 42 of the 2016 series, the Rebirth series. I didn't finish. This is terrible. And then his story from the 100 page Super Spectacular number one. Uh, Green Arrow annuals four through six. 
Green Arrow, Longbow Hunter Saga, Omnibus, Volume 1. I have no idea why it says that in there. There's no reason to have that in there. It's just not cause both. No way. Uh, Wonder Year, 1 through 4, Good Green Arrow, New Teen Titans, 39, 33. Gotta be the covers. I didn't see that in there. I checked. Shadows, Shadow of the Dragon, 1 through 4. Who's Who, the Definitive Directory, the DC Universe, number 9. And then Who's Who, the DC Universe, 14. A lot of Green Arrow. And if you do the math, and you collect, and you count, like, the mini-series and everything like that, you do, you do get the, um, you have, like, a hundred, hundred issues of Green Arrow. And it's not even including, uh, the Teen Titans one included. I don't know why it just has it in there, or Omnibus Volume 1. Maybe it's saying that, you, that's, that the Omnibus Volume 1 is also available. I have no idea, it's just a weird place to put that, though. It makes no sense, in my opinion. I mean, anything to anybody, anyone's opinion. Okay, so next one up is Blackest Night. Spoilers. <laughs> That'll be it for December. Also, if you guys don't know, what, you guys don't care about what's. I did do on that dust jacket. If you guys don't care what's collected in this one. You can hop out <laughs> and st stop watching the video. This is this side. This is that side. And this is the. This is definitely it's definitely seven thirty right now. I don't know what my phone is. I'm so lazy. Not lazy, I'm just trying to get this done. Okay. Not, not, not trying to get this done, like I'm trying to rush it, but like... Uh, Blackest Night 0 through 8, Blackest Night Tales of the Core 1 through 3, Untold Tales of Blackest Night number 1. The, for whatever reason, the Green, Air, Green Lantern on and bus only had one, of two, one and two of uh, Tales of the, of the Core. It was weird. Uh, Green Lantern, 43-52, a lot of double-dipping on the Omnibus Volume 2 of Green, uh, Green Arrow, Jeff Johns. Green Lantern, sorry, Green Lantern, Jeff Johns. So confusing. <laughs> uh, Green Lantern Core, 39-47, Blackest Night, Batman, 1-3, through Blackest Night, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Flash, and Titans, and JSA, 1-3s. through <coughs> Why? Worst time to get that. Uh, <coughs> Inventory Comics 4 and 5, 7, skips issue 6 for no fucking reason. Starman 81, Power of Shazam 48, Question 37, Phantom Stranger 42, Catwoman 83, Weird Western Tales 71, Green Arrow 30, and The Atom in Hawkman 46. And also includes over 50 pages of additional characters. Sketches and more. Perfect. And this is the thickest omnibus of all time so far. At running at, running at, uh, 100, 100, 1600 pages. For 100, well, it's obviously gonna be 150 bucks to do. Because it's the thickest omnibus. Why would it be? Uh, go, go, go through all that, all that. Oh, uh, 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 uh. My stutter so much. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through all of that again when I do my December haul. Where is my phone? Whatever. The end.